Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Uh, I just want to say thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, this is kind of a interesting review here. Uh, last time I reviewed King Kong, and uh, that was kind of a backlog review. It was a movie I kind of stumbled upon on a sale, and uh, you know bought it a you know a little while back, and really wanted to review it. Now, the movie I'm going to review today, obviously the the title of the video has spoiled it, as well as the background here. Um, but this is a movie that uh, it came out a while back, actually, uh, a few months ago. But um, this was a set that appeared um, as a kind of an anniversary edition. And after not a long period of time, this set has completely disappeared and is now widely considered to be out of print. It is not in stock on any major uh, retailer anywhere. Um, Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, Target, nobody has this movie in stock and they haven't had this movie in stock in quite a while. Set. Now, I have actually already reviewed the first Ghostbusters movie in 4K and I'll put a link to that uh, at the end of the video here, but what I'm going to be reviewing today is something really special and uh, I'm this of course if you don't know what I'm talking about yet it is this Ghostbusters 1 and 2 uh, 4k this is like the 35th anniversary edition or something of this it's it's pretty insane uh, 35 years Ghostbusters came out and uh, it's pretty un unbelievable this thing came out in 1984 and the second movie celebrated its 30th anniversary earlier this year as well so you got a 35th and a 30th anniversary for both uh, both movies, and you know this set here. I was not able to buy it when it first came out. It went out of stock pretty quickly. Uh, Ghostbusters fans are are pretty unique in that sense. Where if something new comes out, I guarantee you they'll buy it, and I'm one of those people. Sadly, at the time when this movie came out, I missed it. I did not get a chance to order it in time. And that was that. Uh, it was gone, and I really rarely saw it ever again. Cut to about five days ago. <laughs> I'm walking around Walmart. Of all places, I'm going grocery shopping. Of all things, I'm going grocery shopping. I've picked up some, you know, food. I got my chicken. I got my soup. You know, I'm going, you know, I'm going around, you know. And I'm like, you know what, let me go by the movie section. Let me just see what they got. You know, I didn't have a lot of money. And uh, one thing I want to explain to you as well, as part of the story, is that um, I do not get sent any movies by any companies. Uh, I don't get early access to anything as of right now. Um, my goal in the future is to start contacting uh, movie studios to see if they will send me early copies of uh, of these films so I can review them for you a little earlier and uh, not have to pay out of pocket uh, for these things. Of course, my reviews will always stay, um, you know, my opinion. I will not let the fact that these movies are given to me sway my opinion. Although I do love these movies um, and I would buy them regardless, and I am uh, very much looking forward to hitting that uh, 1,000 subscriber mark so I can actually start making some kind of money off of these videos. As of right now, I make nothing. And uh, as of the time of me making this video, we are very, very close. I think we're within 20 subscribers at this point, or 20-something. So we're very, very close. And uh, you know, I hope once I hit 1,000, we can start ramping up and getting you more, uh, more movies quickly. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, I'm sorry, that was like a four-minute spiel. I apologize. But Basically, I'm walking through Walmart and uh, didn't really see anything as of uh, anything of interest. Uh, it was a Monday, so some of the new releases had not come out yet, and there really wasn't anything that really caught my eye. So I turn around, and as I turn around, I see something out of the corner of my eye, and this sucker is in an aisle where it doesn't belong, just staring at me. 
And I saw it and I said, oh my God, that's the set. That's the Steelbook set. I don't believe it. And there it was. There was one left and it was uh, in the totally wrong aisle, in the totally wrong place. And uh, it was about $39, I think. It was about $39 something. Um, and honestly, uh, you know, did I have the money for it? Yeah. Was I expecting to spend an extra $40 that day? No. But I realized if I didn't get it then, I would absolutely never find this ever again. And if I did, I would have to pay $100 or so more uh, than I normally would. Because the resale on this thing uh, has gone through the roof. Uh, resellers have really, really managed to scalp this thing. And it's a shame because uh, this is a fabulous set. I'm going to talk about that today. Um, in my previous review, I mentioned I did review Ghostbusters uh, in 4K. Uh, it, it looked phenomenal. Uh, it looked great. I think it's the best the movie has ever looked. Colors in it were vibrant. The uh, Dolby Atmos soundtrack was, was pretty fantastic as well. And uh, I just, I don't know, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was a very good, uh, very good 4K disc. Um, the you know HDR10 on the disc was fantastic. Now this set here, um, ironically enough, I'm going to open it up for you here so you can see this because this set is really something to behold. It's got the guys in the back here, and then as you open it up, it is a pretty wild set. Now this is the Ghostbusters uh, one disc. Now I actually have Ghostbusters two in my uh, 4K player, that's I'm using the menu as my backdrop because I really like this menu. I think it's a pretty slick and very uh, very cool looking menu. I think it's pretty sleek. Um, but this is the Ghostbusters 1 disc. Um, it's actually a different disc than the single 4K uh, disc. So it's a different style disc, but the disc contents are, are uh, are you know fairly similar we're gonna get into some differences here in a minute so that is the 4k disc for that and then we're gonna go into this now this is the other stuff that's on here we've got the Ghostbusters normal blu-ray which has the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on it we've got the Ghostbusters 2 disc which has got the picture of Slimer and Lewis on there which I think is a pretty funny scene from the movie and then there's this. Um, this is pretty wild. I really like this. This is the uh, exclusive, exclusive and elusive. This has been a very hard disc to find as of lately. Um, this is the fifth disc in the set. This is a total bonus feature disc. This is all special features with the badge from the uh, the original Ghostbusters uniform right there. So. Um, pretty cool stuff. Now, today I'm not going to be reviewing the, uh, the 4K for the normal Ghost, for the original Ghostbusters, I should say. Since I've already reviewed that on this channel, I'm, I'm not going to review it again. Uh, if you want to see that, watch the other video. Um, but I am going to talk about the set as a whole and, uh, most of Ghostbusters 2. Uh, Ghostbusters 2 I did not review on the other video. So, uh, for Ghostbusters 2 I have to say it's pretty much more of the same um, for the uh, for the 4K disc, I think the movie looked fantastic. It's definitely hands down the best the movie has ever looked. HDR10 on the disc really makes these vibrant colors shine. Um, the special effects, some of them still look fantastic to this day. Uh, for Ghostbusters 2, keep in mind this is five years after the original, so special effects have come a, a little ways since then. Um, the one thing I really like about the two Ghostbusters movies, you notice so I'm not mentioning the new one, we won't talk about that one, uh, but the near the end of Ghostbusters 2, uh, spoiler alert for Ghostbusters 2 if you haven't seen it, the movie's only 30 years old, so if you can't, you know, don't want to spoil or turn off the video. But basically, uh, near the end of the movie, they uh, make the Statue of Liberty walk off of... Uh, off of the eye off of the island and onto onto uh, downtown Manhattan, and uh, it's gets crazy. Uh, there's a Statue of Liberty walking down Fifth Ave, uh, but that's they do that in the movie. It, it's a lot of fun. Um, but the optical effects during that section look horrible, and it's not the fault of the uh, the 4K disc. It's sadly a fault of the times. And uh, the movie, you know, as a whole though, I think really is incredible. The Dolby Atmos soundtrack that's on this disc is also really fantastic. And I have to say, it's actually, I think it's a better transfer 
than the uh, than the the first Ghostbusters movie. To be honest with you, in audio uh, terms, I think it's a better audio track. Um, the overheads are used pretty well, uh, but the overall sound of the movie is just a lot beefier. And uh, especially during the courtroom scene when the uh, Scolari brothers burst out of the the slime and they have to strap on the proton packs and and catch them, um, that. That whole scene, all the sound effects are way better uh, in many ways. They're way deeper, it's a lot louder. Um, the audio throughout is just clearer. Uh, you know, same for the picture and everything. You know, picture is much clearer, you get much more vivid detail all throughout. And the sound, you know, the soundtrack is, is really, you know, no different. I think it's a great, great disc. And uh, even if you went out and bought uh, Ghostbusters 2 on its own, I, uh, I think it's actually worth owning. So if you can't find the set and you had the first Ghostbusters, the second one looks and sounds even better. And uh, I was very impressed. Very, very impressed with that disc. Now, I'm going to talk about this set as a whole. Because this set has some, um, some pretty cool stuff. The, the, um, the things that's really great about this set is that it, it is just loaded with special features. And a lot of times now, these older movies, they'll re-release them, they'll remaster them, they'll do all that stuff, but they really don't do a whole lot in terms of special features. And this set kind of blows everything that I've seen out of the water in terms of special features. That disc that I showed you a minute ago, uh, it, it's really a, a keeper because not only does it have a bunch of totally unseen things, um, that's you know some stuff that we thought was missing for many years, um, is on that disc. I mean, it's there on that disc. Uh, some deleted scenes that were just recently recovered and, you know, they're not complete because, it, you know, they never managed to put all the special effects in there because they never really finished it. But I have to say, um, if you are a Ghostbusters fan, you'll really appreciate some of the deleted scenes. Yeah. And uh, there's a scene that takes place at a fort and there's a portion of it that's in the movie and they re-edited that part in the movie to make it look like it was a dream sequence when in actuality it was a real scene in the movie that they just, you know, never finished and cut a lot of stuff out. Um, so it's interesting to see. Um, there's also another deleted scene with uh, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd playing a different part as these two bums in Central Park. And uh, really interesting. I, I don't know what that was about, but uh, I'm glad they cut it in a weird way. But... I think it was just very distracting for the film. Um, you have a, uh, a reel, which is uh, an early exhibitor reel, and they were marketing the movie to different uh, movie theater chains that were going to show the movie. Uh, they have a whole reel of uh, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray like pitching the movie to sell, uh, to, sell to these theater chains so they could show it. And uh, the movie uh, is not in complete form in this reel. They do have some scenes in the movie that are uh, a little different in the final cut. So it's a little interesting to see that. Um, they have the full TV commercial in there, which I think is really funny to see. And they have a bunch of outtakes from the commercial. And uh, the other thing that that disc has, it has stuff from the first movie, but it also has... Uh, bonus features concerning the second movie as well, which has been kind of largely ignored for many years now. And I, I, I actually don't mind the second movie. I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. It's okay. It's not great. Um, it does have some problems here and there, but I, I enjoy it. I think it's a good time. Um, but again, there's is some moments I like, and there's some moments I don't. Um, the movie for the second one uh, has an entire uh, Oprah Winfrey episode where the entire cast is, um, is on the stage and Oprah has the audience asking them questions and she asks them questions. It's actually very interesting. Um, and they also have the, uh, the original unfinished teaser trailer, uh, which is in there. And uh, that is basically the entire commercial that's in the movie uh, is like the original unfinished teaser trailer, but it's literally the commercial that the Ghostbusters make in the second movie. So pretty interesting to see. There's a bunch of stuff on that disc. And that's only on that fifth disc. Uh, the standard Blu-rays also have a bunch of other special features. 
Uh, they also have a fan commentary on the first and second movie. Um, the second movie actually has uh, some of the filmmakers on there as well. Um, very interesting stuff all around. The set as a whole is absolutely fantastic. Um, I cannot recommend this set enough. Sadly, it is very, very hard to find now, and it was some kind of strange, serendipitous miracle that I actually stumbled upon this thing because I absolutely love this movie, uh, love these movies, I should say. And anyway, I can't wait until that next Ghostbusters film. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I've been waiting for a true sequel to the second one here since I was a little kid, so very, very excited for that. We can only hope that Ivan Reitman's son kind of writes the the path here and uh, guides the ship a little better than we got last time. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, that's all for today for Kavanaugh's Corner. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good night.